Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I did promise you an uh, update on the texture roll of stamps on Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately I've had a man down. The oldies had a cold for a day and getting various jobs done. It sort of disappeared this week. So at last I've got five minutes to sit down and go through what I've been doing. So I've printed up a load of stamps and I've done some in resin. So we are put the camera down and we'll go through what's on offer. Right, so first of all, let's have a quick look at the broken earth and rough floors, etc. So the broken earth is literally just an earth pattern. These you'll put on the foam, whack it with a hammer, and you get your indentation. So that's the broken earth. There's a couple of variations on that one. You've got like a rough floor too, so it's still got the grid and a rough sort of design. I'm not sure about that one myself. I think I need to actually put it out on a piece of foam, paint it, have a look at it. You have a dirt floor with a grid. So the same sort of texture as the dirt floor. This has got your grid imprint. Another rough floor. This one's even rougher. This is a better print in my mind. And the grid. So I stuck that one back in the bag. I like to label them all so I remember which one's which. Now one out of the blue. Just got one of these. This is a herringbone brickwork. So you've got all your brick imprint and some texture on the bricks itself. In the bag. Right, crazy pavings. Got three of these. So the crazy paving small. So this is a textured crazy paving. Stick this one in the bag again. Oh. Crazy paving one. So this one is literally just the cut. Mm -hmm. So it's puts the bricks in but leaves them dead flat. Which you could leave it like that or you could just roll over it with a ball of tin foil. So I've got to play with some of these and do some test stamps. And we've got another crazy paving that's actually got a texture to it. So that's your crazy pavings. Another odd one. So one off. This is like a cracked ice effect. I think this could be quite interesting. Nice looking tile. We have dungeon floor and castle floor, so this is slightly different. So you've got a dungeon floor design, which I think could be nice. I quite like that one. In the bag. Right, two dungeon floors. So you have a dungeon floor smashed, which is like more cracked and bits. Then you have a dungeon floor broken, which is even more smashed up. So put them in the bag. Somewhere I do have a dungeon floor plane. I'm sure I do. I'll have to look into that. Right, some of the detailing is a little bit too detailed for an FDM printer. So this is the wood floor I did on an FDM printer I did for the Kickstarter video. Yes, it worked, it looked quite good. But I thought, no. Nope. What I did in the end is I printed this out in resin. So this actually got higher detail come out really well just in sand around the edges. What I'll do with this is I'll get a piece of XPS the right size. This is a print that failed so I'll probably use that as a back as well just rub it down and I'll glue it down like that and I will cast them. There you go, dungeon floor. Got a wood plank. 
That one's curved a little bit and uh, should pull back. That'd be fine. And we have a uh, herringbone, which is a really fine, quite a light detail. I've actually pressed this into something, it worked quite well. That's quite nice. I think with the wash stamped in, painted in the wash, it would actually come up really well. So that's where I am with the stamps. Let's stick the camera up. Right, there you have it. Um, well, I took a five minute break, I quickly flattened that one out, just heated it up with a hairdryer, like I did in our repairing 3D prints video. It's pretty well flat, it's pulled back a little bit, so when I actually assemble it onto some XPS or onto that failed print as a base, I'll just warm it up beforehand and stick it down so it holds as it cools down. Right, a few questions for you. First of all, how would you like to see these? Do you want to be able to get them individually? I can always do the option as individual anyway, but I'm thinking of maybe doing them in sets as well. So you can have your dungeon floor set, your wooden floor set, etc. There will be some occult stamps, which I'm not sure how many there were. I think it's something like eight, which are like a good pentagrams and things like that. I could do them in a set or do them individually as well. The thing is, at the end of the day, if I do them as a set, I should be able to offer them fractionally cheaper because it takes the same time to cast mm -hmm. a set of three or a set of eight or whatever compared to casting one. You've still got to mix the resin, um, degas, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Same process. Mm -hmm. So it's time. Next question packaging. Now, stamps, being the thickness they are, should post as large letter, which is great because it saves quite a bit of money. Um, I have large letter boxes, nice plain boxes, so that's not an issue. The question I've got now is, what do I do with the rollers? Now, do I get special boxes in for these rollers? So I can do, so do one, two, three, etc. Get all these different boxes, or do I do what I normally do with boxes, and that's recycle them? Are people happy with second-hand boxes, or do you prefer this pristine box, nicely logo coming through? Ooh, up to you. Um, obviously there's packaging cost involved if I've got to build, bring materials in. Also there's the environmental cost. Let's put my little green hat on. Um, so let's know your thoughts. I did think I'd print a little label to go on the top of the bag. So they go out in bags like I had in the video. But instead of handwritten on them, I'm going to put a little printed piece on the top. Look, little logo, Steesaw World logo. Um, and just so-and-so stamp. I think that's pretty much it to be honest it's really sort of just get some feedback the oh the other thing would you like to see it as a web available through a web store or just happy to do it through a facebook page or do i just put a stuck post to the facebook page with a list of them and prices etc and people can pm and email or do i set up a proper store let me know right um hopefully this video is useful to you and um, please give it a thumbs up. I always like a thumbs up. Have a great week gaming, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!